New at 5, a 30-year-old case involving the death of a Tulsa police officer is about to get a new hearing. The convicted cop killer wrote a letter to Fox 23 saying he's going to prove his innocence once and for all. In a story you'll see only on Fox 23, Weekend Anchor Rick Marinon is live with what the man wrote and why the district attorney's office, Rick, says they stand by the conviction. This is the letter that we received from Anthony Kimbrough from his prison cell. He says this is a moment he's been waiting for for decades. In response, the district attorney's office filed paperwork that says this is nothing but a fishing expedition and there's no proven evidence whatsoever that Kimbrough is innocent. Fox 23 gets letters from prisoners all the time claiming their innocence. But for Anthony Kimbrough, this time, a Tulsa County judge has agreed to hear his plea to review his case. In a letter to Fox 23, Kimbrough states, For the last 30 years, I have proclaimed my innocence in the shooting death of Tulsa Police Officer Gus Spanos. In 1994, Kimbrough was convicted in the shooting death of Tulsa Police rookie Gus Spanos during a traffic stop at this North Tulsa intersection. Kimbrough, a drug trafficker who moved between Tulsa and California, shot Spanos, left him to die, and then and was found weeks later hiding in California. Here at the Tulsa Police Officers Memorial, especially at Spanos' own little part, it doesn't say anything about Anthony Kimbrough. Instead, it talks about the arrest, conviction, and sentence to life without parole of the man who killed him, a sentence that Kimbrough says should now be in question. In his new filings, Kimbrough still claims during the traffic stop with Spanos, an unknown man walked up to Spanos and shot him while he was talking to Kimbrough and another woman. But he goes on to say that if he can have new DNA testing, it will show his DNA is not on the evidence collected, and his claim a killer is still on the loose and out there is possible. In their own court filings, Tulsa County DA's office points to multiple previous attempts by Kimbrough to get out of prison, such as claiming tribal heritage to be released under the Supreme Court's McGirt decision. They also say one credible witness saw him shoot Spanos Spanos and two other witnesses testified Kimbrough confessed to, quote, shooting a cop. The state says Kimbrough is hoping to cast a wide net and is on a fishing expedition. In this matter, no additional DNA testing can result in favorable results that would somehow create a reasonable probability that petitioner would not have been convicted. A judge will hear these motions in late June. It has been 30 years, and if you remember just a few years ago with the last Tulsa police officer uh, that was killed, that, killer, that killer's trial, he was sentenced to death. In Kimbrough's case, the jury was split 10 to 2, and he was given life without parole. That is why we are still dealing with appeals after all of this time. We will be here when he appears by video from his cell in Lexington, which, keep in mind, is not the Big Mac state pen. It is a medium security prison where he was moved for good behavior. We will be here for that video conference next month. Live at the Tulsa County Courthouse, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.